morning YouTube and internet and all my subscribers how you doing today that's good glad you're doing okay and if you're not I'm sorry I hope you feel better we're on our way to the mall so I'm going to walk around and kill some time I wish I had money malls are a lot more fun when you have money they fired me for eating a chip. So don't ever eat there, guys. Carmelitas will give you free chips and then kick you out for eating chips that they give out to free for free to every table. It's a lot of bull crap. Anyways, I lied. We're going to the bookstore, not the mall. No. Amy Adams is hot. Here you go. Stoners. If you don't want to get caught, get this book. Oh no. I'm back in the paranormal emo section. But yeah. If you're a pothead and you don't want to get caught, buy that book. Here's something I like to do in bookstores. I'm not going to tell you which one I'm in in case you work at a bookstore. And if you do order books, work at a bookstore, ignore this part. Just skip ahead. But I like to walk through the store, pick up books I have an interest in and uh, do something that I like to call the Asset Relocation Program. I take books and I put them in places where they don't belong. I like, it, it, I like to ensure job security for the masses that work at bookstores. Give you guys something to do on the boring days, you know? Keep it interesting. Alright guys, check out this book I found. You may have seen it already, but... How to Speak Zombie, A Guide for the Living. Apparently. Apparently that's how you say this. Is this on sale? What else do we got? <laughs> that's how you say, bro, spot me. And of course there's the classic. Brains. In case you guys had trouble translating that one, it's a funny book. I always feel weird filming in bookstores because they have like kind of that library feel to them where you're supposed to be quiet. I don't know, are you supposed to be quiet in bookstores or are you allowed to talk as loud as you want? I mean, I'm not going to go through the bookstore screaming or anything, but I don't know. Like, it's weird. I, I feel like I am supposed to be quiet and that everyone's looking at me and staring at me as I film because I'm the weird guy with a camera in a bookstore. I do it for you guys, you know, these vlogs. It's all for you. I love you guys. All right, guys, I'm back home, and here's today's cooking lesson. I'm gonna make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. All right, so you're gonna want a knife, peanut butter, and jelly, and bread. You're gonna take your knife, put it in your peanut butter. I don't have a preferred brand because none of these guys are paying me, so use whatever kind you want. Then you take your jelly. Open that up. Okay, stick your knife in there. Put it onto your bread. Do 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 do. And spread 
jelly. Do, do, do. Why is jelly so hard to spread? Because it doesn't stick to bread. I don't know why. Alright, and here's the hardest part, guys, so pay attention. You're gonna take your two pieces of bread, put them together. And there you go. Peanut butter and jelly. Alright, guys, that's it for today's vlog. Um, sorry about not doing that much today. There just wasn't that much going on. Um, try to make it up to you in the next few days here, do some more interesting things, because the house sitting will be done, and I can go and, uh, <clears throat> I'll be in my own environment where I can feel more like you know, more like myself. So now I'm gonna watch a movie on cable and after that I'm going to sleep. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye everybody.